What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses, mm -hmm. well, I love, love, love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I appreciate it. To my bear beauties, my sugar babies, my hairology 101s, my spiritual bathers. What's up? What's popping? What's good? Thank you so much for giving me that support over there on my business side. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. To those who like, share, subscribe, share the videos, donate to the channel, book me from re book me for readings. You totally rock. I appreciate each and every one of you. Love and light to everybody. All right. I'm still currently running this $44.44 special. Somebody hasn't come in because I wouldn't keep saying that. I wouldn't keep running the special. I got shit to do, okay? Um, but anyway, cash out PayPal and then email me, please. Everything else you need to know is in the description box. If you see an ad, let it play for a minute or so. So your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. Everything else is in the description box. Let's get into it, Scorpio. What's this energy? All right, it says, small offering. I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give and when I can give it to you, but I do want to offer you something more valuable than before. Okay, so... <clears throat> When I um when I was channeling this morning, I was channeling listening to the music of Mariah Carey, I stay in love with you. Um the energy I'm getting with this person is like every time you took them back, they they still really didn't have no chill. Like this person, it's like you know, they know you stay in love with them, Scorpio. They know no matter what it is that they do, even if you stay away from lo for long periods of time, even if you um, move forward with somebody else, they know you stay in love with them. I feel like this almost feels like a curse, a spell, and witchcraft all at the same time because I feel like the curse is the fact that you truly are still in love with this person and you stay in love with this person you never move away from it whether they you know and I feel like this person always gave you small offerings because just like they saying now see I love these cards because the small offering is that way the message is totally different listen what it says it says short and temporary off offering in between feeling awakened and unawakened but refusing to let go completely Stuck in a situation they cannot cannot get out of and only can give you something small. Okay, and see yours is saying, I know you want more from me. This person know what time it is. This person know that you stay in love with them. But the thing about this is, is they just never, this person never gave you an offer bigger than the first one they gave you. Like, it ain't like they gaining momentum and the, all the offers just... You know, like they it's it's they giving you all they got in other words, it's not that. It's like I know I can give you a small off and you'll be you'll stay put. I feel like it's the energy of this person just allowing you to stay put. I'm telling you this shit is straight up witchcraft at its finest. It just feel like you know, somebody somebody abusing that energy. But I feel like whoever I'm speaking to in this message 2024 change it change that it broke it because see energetically scorpio what i'm getting is i keep hearing we said let go and i kept holding on so i feel like somebody somebody stuck to the plan because it was already on that bullshit any fucking way so i feel like whoever it is that don't stay in love they was actually glad for this break because this person realized they can come back and give you a small offering. Look. Yes, absolutely. This person know as long as they come back, whatever, however they come back, they know you'll accept them for that. And they know they ain't got to have no chill. They know they can still be over here doing this. All you want is them to show you some type of light at the end of the tunnel. And it's just like you're pulling breaking barriers in the reverse. This person, 
they the only time they I feel like they come towards you, Scorpio, is when they broken up with who they really and truly in love with. I feel like you're truly in love with them. They're truly in love with somebody else. I'm just getting that period. But I feel like the the time has changed. It says, there are so many barriers stopping us from being together. I'm trying my best to become a better person so I can knock down the walls for you and eventually with you. You're not walking, you're not knocking down no fucking walls for Scorpio. If you knock down a wall, you need to walk, knock that wall down because you did sometimes. See, this person, they, they, they feed off the validation of divine feminine women. What do I mean by that? They only like the top, top pick of the litter of women. And make no mistake about it, this is not a divine masculine. This is this is a, 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 a masculine operating in divine feminine energy because we gave it to him. And this is somebody who's managed to, you know, pull themselves up the ranks. And when I say ranks, because to them, we're just another notch on the belt. Yeah, you was... You know, the 100K, the 100K Divine Feminine was all right in 2023, but 2024, I want me 150. One worth 150 or one worth 200. And see, that's the thing. It's like we weight everything in love, and they don't weight shit in love. What makes a man, I feel like, cling to you and want to build if he ain't a Divine Masculine is the fact that he feels like he could come up. If I if I put if I put my horse with her carriage, me and this person right here can go somewhere. Why? Cause you got a carriage, and he got a, a horse, and it just worked. But as soon as y'all pull the carriage to a certain point, and they get to a certain point, they no longer want that carriage. They want another carriage, one that's more expensive, more that's one that's more younger, more independent, whatever it is. These people, I'm trying to tell you, we fall in love with them, and they they never come in with the intentions of love. Only manipulation with the love. But the thing about Scorpio 2024 is there is no love, boo. I got to respect you. And this shit right here make me don't respect you, bitch. You, get, you gave me a smaller offer every time. Fuck you. I feel like whoever this is, when they come back this time, there's nothing there but dust and fucking bones. What I said. Breaking barriers in the reverse. They act like they somewhere trying to... You know, shake this bitch off them or shake this energy off them of them being in love with somebody else. But they want you to stay put till they run back to you when, when, when they need a break. Or this bitch here who he really in love with choose somebody else or let his ass go. And you still giving me a small offer with that shit. Moving forward. Not in 24. Comment in the chat. No more in 24. Just period. Yeah, look, I told you telepathic. This person, they start dialing in the shit when they going through it with their person. It says random thoughts and intense feelings brought about by your twin. Notice patterns, images, or numbers in your day to day. They remind you of your person. Now, the 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 stuck book of this is this shit is telepathy shit that don't work. It it no longer works on you. This person is able to dial into your energy because of the love you have for them, Scorpio. And it's something, it just feels like you can't shake it. It feels so unresolved to you. It seems to you like it shouldn't have ended like that. Almost, I get the energy like somebody saying they died too young. You understand what I'm trying to say? It's like you're holding on to the, to the, of what it could have been. Or you're holding on to like how you want it to be. It's, it's just not like that. It is, it's just not. Like, this person, they're playing with your energy, but they're not able to anymore. So now, you're going to see this person just evaporate. They're not coming back anymore. Because the only reason this person was leaving that energy open, Scorpio, was because you like a good chill spot. You yeah, look patience. You like a good little chill spot. You like, you like a good little spot. Pit stop to come, you know, collect your thoughts. Get this other bitch I'm in love with to cool down. I'll be over here eating crab legs, drinking Don Perignon, and chilling like a good villain. Give me some good ass sex and chemistry, and you know what I'm saying. Well, who wouldn't Who wouldn't want to hang out with Scorpio for a couple of weeks? And and portray. They know they have to come and act like they're 
really coming this time to make an offer out of all the times they didn't and each time it get less. And whenever this bitch get to call him back, he back on their time. Or she back on their time. So it's just like, okay. So we got wordless in the reverse, the overall energy. It says, there is so much for me to tell you, but I am unable to express myself in a rational way, so I'd rather keep quiet. No, it's not that this person would rather keep quiet. You cut, 2024 cut off all that connection, that soul tie that you had connected to this person. So this person is not, they're not wordless. They're just no, no longer able to reach you. You can't hear their words because you're on another frequency. It's not that they're wordless. That's another manipulation tactic. They're trying to act, make you think, you know, oh, this I couldn't give you this offer because um, when I came back looking for you, you weren't there like you used to be. It's like, no, I wasn't. And that left them speechless, wordless. Why? Because then... They say, okay, I go back and she ain't there. It's okay. I just start working telepathically. I'll start sending her these intense feelings of emotions, of us having sex, this twin flame type of energy when it when it don't even, you don't feel that no more. You crossed over, Scorpio, and now the, the, intense, the intense vibrations that you used to have about love, they're different now. Why? Because now you want to be able to respect the person first. If I can't respect you, I don't want to love you. That's the energy we in. That's just period. If I can't respect you, I don't want to work for you. If I can't respect you, I don't want you working with me. If I can't respect you, I don't want you around my family. Like, come on. It's just so simple now for Scorpio. It, it's certain rules of spiritual law that if you live by, you can, you can ward off a lot of evil just by, you know, not being in the same frequency as somebody else. That's why I told you God is not moving us forward in 22 in 2024. He's moving us upward. Everybody on this fucking rat race, not Scorpio. What's the small offerings in reverse? See that reverse let me know every time they come the offer be bullshit. Look, the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Every time they come back around cuz you sitting there waiting while they with they you know, the person they really truly who want to be who they want to be with. It's almost like, Scorpio, be honest. This could be your twin. I don't know. But it's almost like what's happening to you with them is happening to them with this person. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They want more from this person. And this person not willing to give it to them because of whatever reasons. Okay? And it's like you keep wanting something from them that they're not able to get you because they're looking for it from somebody else. What I said. But justice is being served. You, I'm telling you, you got grandfathered in. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is, you know, somebody who don't give a fuck about family. Somebody who don't have a family. Somebody who not domesticated. They definitely not a householder. They don't pay bills because they never had a house to pay bills. What I said. The moon is in reverse. I'm telling you, the age of the Aquarius. Something happened crossing over into 20. 24 at midnight at 101 something changed in you scorpio you got grandfathered in the things that used to entice you and make you feel all kind of passion and fire and shit it just don't no more it's just done you got a new zest for life and love and it just have to do all with respect treating people how they treat you and being in the right circle at the right time you got the green light this other side of this card says, yes, eventually. You pull, yes, absolutely. Just period. Because 2024 is going to be the birthplace of Scorpio. What I said. It's going to be a change in what people think and how they normally see a Scorpio. Like, it's going to be a shift. It's already happened. Some of us just hadn't walked in it yet. Many, the, the, the. The experience hadn't presented itself. Yeah, look, the hermit. The experience hadn't presented itself. You're still going within. You're still, Scorpio, you went into 2024 with saddles blazing. Like, you're going into 2024 knowing nothing less about yourself than you did in 2023. And you're building on that. You're not allowing anybody to come in with their plans and tell you what they want you to do with your shit. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You live your life. 
You so good at it. You so good at being a knight of pinnacle, slow and slow win the race. It's like, no, that's not my that's not my uh, conclusion. It's in me. It's not on me. I don't have to plan. I don't have to cross eyes and dot t dot my uh, dot my eyes and cross my t's. I already did that. It's a goal for me. And I'm telling you, just as sure as it's a goal for you, Scorpio, you're going to get a lot of motherfuckers trying to come and tell you how to go. Now, there goes somebody under him, the knave of horns. To me, this, this, to me, this, this is, um, Scorpio, this feels like, it's just what I said. Both of you, you and your twin flame, if this is your twin, and y'all know I don't even really get into that type of shit. Y'all yo, yo, both going through the same thing. This this person <laughs> who they so in love with that they can't connect with you about, that their person is in love with somebody their age, somebody younger than them, than your, your person. They chose younger. Okay, stuck book number one. Okay, they chose somebody that they thought was younger but reminded them of you. <laughs> Now the moon here, the justice here, the ten of pentacles in reverse, they realized that was some bullshit. But basically what's going on is your person's person is with somebody else that they love. Okay? And that don't want them. This this like a cycle of corrupt ass love fuckery at its best. Okay? Everybody in this, it's like a six party situation where if, ain't nobody happy. Ain't nobody getting what they want. And Scorpio, here you go. This person in the middle of your reading is break, breaking barriers in the reverse. Okay, they, they like how this shit is. Except the thing about it is this person don't know about their person with somebody. That's the last thing that they would ever think. That this person is lo in love with somebody besides they good looking, the goat ass. And they ain't got a pot to piss in or want to throw it out. What I said. So they, they, this person real heavy in their ego. They got you over here on the... You, they got all spice on the side. Okay, they got... Young Mama Sita on on the on the front base, and they don't understand. They think they playing a game just between two um, women, but that ain't what's going on. You playing a game between a divine feminine and a feminine and another divine masculine. Okay, so divine feminine and, ma and masculine getting played at this point. With these local jokers, but the barrier is breaking this in the reverse, Scorpio. I feel like 2024, you got grandfathered in. You didn't have to break shit. The spell was broke. God broke it. Like you you didn't go over into 2024 staying in love with this person like you always have. What did I say? Look at all that fire energy. The Queen of Wands, the Two of Wands, you back to yourself now. You crossed over better than ever. Yeah, the Three of Swords in reverse. What I said. <laughs> the Queen of Wands, the Two of Wands. This is orchestrated by the universe. Somebody ain't want you to. Somebody, somebody wanted you to stay fucking put and not be in love, so that they can have somewhere to go when they, the person they really in love with, ghost they ass like they've been ghosting you. And it's like you release that ass. You drop them like a hot cake. The Three of Swords. Soon the twelve oh one January the first hit. You no longer stay in love with them. You no longer love them anymore. Okay, we said we was letting go and I held on. That's what I keep hearing. So somebody, we made a decision collectively and then somebody renege, renegger. Like just period. Go the fuck on, move around. Even if this other person don't want you still, go find somebody else to play with. And that's what happened. This telepathic, y'all, I'm telling y'all, whoever this was, y'all shit was intense. Sexually. A lot of wands here because this person, they don't have anything else but sex. That's all they had. And this person played you, Scorpio, because all the while they was acting like they living somewhere with you. And for this short period of time, they was really holding down some something else with somebody else. This person was very secretive, too. This could be another Scorpio. All I got to say is this bitch was no good because they came in with false intentions off the rip. They came in fucking with you loving somebody else. Clarify this telepathic. And now they ass is out. Because whoever they person is, they leaving them the same way. What I said. Yeah, look. The spell broke. The magician in, in reverse. I feel like whatever the tie was you had with this person, I feel like time and distance is what um time, distance, space, January the 1st, 
is what broke it. The five of swords. Now this person going through it mentally. Because telepathically they can't reach you anymore. The witchcraft ain't working no more. So now that this person gone and you gone, it's like what they're going to do with their life. The knight of cups in reverse. What they're going to do with when all the love, the five of pentacles, they're going to be in the cold. They're going to be in the cold. So here this person is, now that this is done, the other person that ran off, here they come back to you and it's like they hit a brick fucking wall. I'm not in love with you anymore. I see this shit for what it is. It hurt me to my core, but I waited too long. The patience is here with the five of pentacles. I waited too long for you. You had damn near three lifetimes to get this shit together and you ain't done it because you chasing somebody else. And then look, my whole thing is this person keep coming towards you telling you they love you. It just ain't perfect timing and the time ain't right. And they with somebody else. Look, the two of cups in reverse and the five of pentacles. Everybody in this shit got heartbroken about the situation because nobody, the people that were truly in love, the other person wasn't in love with them. What I said, the two of cups in reverse. And then they go to Temperance card. I'm telling you, this spell was broke going into January, Scorpio. Your peace came back. Feeling fulfilled came back. Just with yourself. Being your, by yourself is enough at this point. I told you in the other reading, I feel like a lot of us, a lot of us Scorpios, depending on what you went through in these last relationships, you need a break. You need, a, you need to detach from the trauma. And with, once it's detached, you need a break. Your spirit need to rest. Like this, this shit woke you out. It's so intense and so um, tiring to love somebody that don't love you back. It is. It. it you know. You see. I, I. I've had girlfriends that I've seen. Like I, I'll see them. Like say for instance, I'll see them last year. They so happy. They just met this guy. So, you know, it's all the flower on the on the bloom and all this shit. And then you see them. About a year later, and they look like they're not aged 30 years. And you be like, girl, how you doing? And they be like, girl, you remember you see me? You know, it's just like that. It's like, it take years off of you. It take years. And not just years off of your life, but just, it, it run you down into the ground. And then it let you go. It unearths you, and then it just drop you back to the earth. It's like, come on, dude. I ain't loving like that no more. That's just what it is with Scorpio. Alright, what's the advice? The Six of Pentacles. First card out. Like, if it ain't giving, I'm not giving. Period. Rule of thumb. Period. 2024 is a good year for Scorpio. You have the Nine of Cups. A lot of wish fulfillment. When I say wish fulfillment, I mean the things you asked the universe for that you weren't ready for then. You're ready for it now. The Ace of Cups. New love. <laughs> I'm talking about, this is a beautiful union. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Cause look at all these cups. Because you walked away from this stupid shit. The world on the bottom of the deck. You ended a cycle with this person. I feel like you wouldn't have been able to break it had um, 2024 not come in. Because I feel like this was spell work. I, I really do. And when I say, you know, spell work, I don't always mean somebody doing kitchen magic. I mean... Like somebody, um, you know, almost energetically making you stay put, telling you that, that they're in love with you. When they in your energy, they make you feel that way. But after they out of your energy, nothing about them s says love at all, period. Compassion, love, none of that shit. And I feel like you weren't able to see it because you stayed in love with this person. You stayed waiting patiently for this person to give you something that was already with you. <laughs> you know, the two of cups in reverse, this person, they're not in the five of swords. They're not in the energy of, they just lost the love of their life. They're not in the energy of um, being in no connection with you. Now that this person know that their person is going off with somebody else, they, have, they in that five of pentacles energy, Scorpio. They probably don't even want to be, come towards you. But I feel like they tried to reach you telepathically. They still tried to reach out, see. But it was, the channels was crossed. Because <laughs> you gone. The eight of cups, you, nah. Not this year. You can leave me out at this year, next year, and all the other years. I, I stayed it too many years as it is. What else? What's the messages here? I feel like a beautiful union is coming in, though, with the Ace of Cups. Definitely somebody new. 
Um, and I feel like energetically, this is somebody totally opposite of you because I feel like that's what you need. On the bottom of the deck, you got cloud chasers. They would do anything to get some sort of attention. Yeah, that's their ex. <laughs> that's him. He'll do anything to get attention when he need it. Misleading. They're trying to point you into a wrong direction. I told you. This person never intended on loving you, Scorpio. They were all the while in love with this other person. Messy. They want to throw hands with you but won't make a move. We got these same cards in another reading. And y'all saw me shuffling them. Squying. Focusing on your image to figure you out. This person trying to figure out how they can, you know, come back to you. And it's, it's, it's like they can't. Fake number. Trying to get a hold of you through an unknown number. <laughs> you ain't even got that number no more. Shook. They're acting unbothered. Truth is they're shaking. I told you. Because they used to you being there. Whenever they get ready to pick you up and put you back down, give you the same old lie. They don't even give you a good lie, Scorpio. It was just what you was caught into. And look, fake opportunists. This person was fake coming in the door. Watching others to see what they can take to make it their own. And backstab. I can't make this up. Will do anything to get their way. This person just... They came in false. And you fell in love with them because when they came in, when I mean, when I say they came in false, there was a clout chaser. They needed something from you. You didn't need shit from them. This person always come to you when this person ghosts them or when they're, you know, on a break with this person. Because they want to live in the lap of luxury and have all the benefits that come with Scorpio, but not commit to a connection with the two of cups in reverse. So you're ending this cycle. It's over with. It's done. Fuck him. And he done too. That's why this overall energy is word wordless. Both of y'all shit this bitch up. Twin or not, I don't care who he is. Like this person. Yeah, I get the energy like y'all both. Y'all both fucking leveled up. Like period. You realize that was a loser. The person he was fucking with realized he was a loser. She, Y'all both, I feel like that's the energy. Like this person went with somebody else. Your person person. Because they realized... This person wasn't ready for love. This person was lying to them. They probably caught them in a lie with the wordless in the, in the reverse. Okay, and they, they didn't want to deal with it. And I feel like the only thing probably was keeping this person attached to them was them lying. Okay, them lying, making like everything okay the same way they did you. And somebody peeped game and moved the fuck on. And that's what happened. This started a spiral effect. On the bottom of the deck, it says, it's already happened. Can I make it up? So this is past energy, like I fucking said. It says, stability. Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like 20, that's all 2024 is. It's about the rebuild. It's about you getting stable. It's about you getting the love of your life. It's about wish fulfillment. It's about you finally opening this business and it go viral and blow up it's about you feeling love for yourself confidence in yourself it's about you working hard scorpio yeah look miracles <laughs> i can't make it up they manifesting right now it says magic alignment i'm telling you like like they never seen scorpio before and most of all gratitude i love it i love to see it. you got stabilities miracles alignment and gratitude ain't that how it works what else we got Tradition. Yeah, I feel like a lot of us Scorpios are just going back to the basics. What's the basics? Creation. I can't make it up. We're going back to just that simple formula we had, the essence of us. Always, you know, hey, if I make a mistake, I can come back and apologize. But as it sits, this is how I feel. Like, we're not hiding who we are anymore just, just so somebody else can feel fucking comfortable in a connection. Like, yeah, nah, I ain't settling for shit. I want somebody who know that this is how I am and that they can handle that and want to be a part of it. If you don't like the fact that I don't like dogs and you love dogs, you got a hundred dogs and we merge and family, well, we can't be together. It's that type of energy. Even And I know that's petty, but I'm saying it ain't petty. Because I don't want to live a second of my, I live too many seconds of my life in false pretenses and bullshit. And I don't want to live another second in my life not how I want to fucking live it to the fullest. Like, if I don't like dogs, I don't want no dogs around me. I don't want that energy. I don't want to be in that energy. Everything now about energy with me. 
Like, yeah. And if you ain't the type of man that like to, you know, take care of your woman and protect her and make her feel like a queen, eh, I don't want to be married to you. You know, I don't even want to go out on a date with somebody like you. If I see you saying something bad or fucked up about your mom or son, I don't want to be fucked up with you. Like, that's the energy of Scorpio. Yo, look, your overall energy is trust. I can trust myself. It says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah, what I said. I trust myself. TikTok. There go that time again. Wasting too much time. I'm telling you. Now I'm going to spend my life like I want to. Adversity is in the reverse. You done been through the tough times. And you passed. It says, I accept challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, you did that. What I said. You found a peaceful resolution. Your peaceful resolution is just to be real about what's going on in your life. Forgiveness, a lot of times we're going to have to forgive people that hurt us just so we're able to um, move on in life. Not the right time is here. Okay. So for some of y'all Scorpios, you know, the not the right time is because this thing was coming to a head. This person... They thought that every time was going to be the right time. Not this time. Look. Spirit said, nope. Scorpio paid enough dues. It's time for Scorpio to move into 2024 with a new life. Look, a year from now, you're going to be sitting pretty with everything you got. I told you. 2024, we're going to be building. 2025, all that shit going to be in our life. What? Yes. You're getting a yes, Scorpio. A lot of miracles unfolding. You're pulling forgiveness twice. So for a lot of y'all, Scorpio, y'all got a lot of people. We got a lot of people um, to forgive. But God said, take that as an opportunity. It's an opportunity that you still here and you're able to make something right, wrong. What I said. And the universe going to keep just blessing you, Scorpio, because you keep being a blessing. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video.